Look at me sat here in this lovely orange and brown waterproof jacket and it's brown because it's filthy. Ben's been using it for mountain biking because we needed to have a grubby jacket to show you what, uh, what it looks like and to also explain a little bit about why you need to wash and care for your waterproof outdoor clothing and equipment. It's really, really important and it's something that we get asked a lot. You know, how often do I need to wash my uh, waterproof jackets? How often do I need to wash this? How do I need to wash that? Why do I need to wash it? Surely, if the jacket is waterproof, why do I need to wash it as well? Because, well, let's go into a little bit about how jackets are made. Generally speaking, you'll have a membrane or a coating on the inside of the face fabric. So the face fabric being the orange bit, the membrane or the coating will be on the inside, and that's the waterproof bit. The orange bit, the face fabric, isn't waterproof. The problem with that being is if the face fabric isn't waterproof and it gets wet when it rains, the membrane or the coating on the inside simply cannot breathe. It's physics. If you've got warm air on the inside, trying to escape through the membrane or the coating, and it hits a layer of cold water on the outside, it will condense and you will feel cold and clammy, you'll feel miserable, it'll feel like your jacket's leaking, which is often a common misconception, and it'll just be really uncomfortable and your jacket won't be performing at its best. So what our lovely manufacturers, Patagonia in this instance, but every manufacturer of outdoor kits and clothing, will apply a DWR to the outside of the face fabric. DWR, durable water repellency. So you may notice with the jacket that you bought very recently, performs slightly differently, well, marginally differently, well, probably a lot more differently than the one you bought maybe 15 or 20 years ago, if you were buying kit 15 or 20 years ago. Ben wasn't, I was. I can remember, I can remember those old jackets, they were brilliant uh, anyway, but they also had nasty chemicals all over them, so we won't go there. So the new uh, garments that you're buying, the new waterproof jackets that you're buying are now uh, being treated with a DWR that has uh, much uh, reduced PFAS chemicals uh, or even no PFAS chemicals whatsoever. The downside of this is they are not quite as effective. So this brings me right back to the start of the video. Why should you wash your jacket? Well, you should wash your jacket, A, to keep it clean. This is very muddy, it's horrible. It's a bit stinky. Ben, you've been sweating a lot. Yeah, it's definitely stinky. So we sweat. We give off oils, we give off salts. Uh, we touch the jacket, we've got oils on our hands and our skin. And, I, and I, I don't mean like, you know, greasy, horrible, but just tiny little particles of oil. And these new PFAS-free DWRs just can't resist it like the old ones used to. So the DWR does kind of reduce in its performance slightly over time. So by washing your jacket in the correct manner, you're going to rejuvenate and restore that DWR on the jacket. And there are many ways to do this, which we will talk about a bit later in the video. So when do, do you know when is the right time to wash your jacket? Well, let's be frank here, folks. It's a piece of clothing. You know, how often do you wash pieces of clothing? When they're dirty, duh, you know. Ben's been thrashing around on his mountain bike with this jacket. Steve's been taking it up to North Wales Mountaineering. It's stinky, it's dirty, it's had some good regular use. It's gonna need a wash. Come on folks, you know, it's a piece of clothing. Uh, when the DWR diminishes, so when you're out in the rain uh, and the water ceases to bead up on the outside, it's no longer running off, it's soaking into the face fabric. That is your prime indicator, to be honest that your DWR needs some restoration and some rejuvenation. Uh, what you're not doing is reproofing the jacket. Now Ben specifically told me not to say the word reproofing, but I am going to say it in this instance, and he's nodding at me, so that's okay. You're not, re you're not making the jacket waterproof again. The waterproof bit, like I explained earlier, is the membrane or the coating on the inside between the inner and the face fabric. That bit will always that's a bit of a sweeping statement, isn't it? Oh, I've got a nasty look from Ben there. That bit, I don't want to use the should word either. That bit's going to remain waterproof unless you physically put a hole in it or it degrades over a long, long time. So, you know, unless you stick a nail through it or rip it on a barbed wire fence or, I don't know, stick your thumbnail through it whilst you're 
trying to put, I don't know, whatever. You put a hole in it, it's not going to be waterproof anymore. The DWR is there to keep the face fabric dry, to keep the jacket performing beautifully and to keep that breathability at its maximum level. So that's what you're doing. You're restoring, rejuvenating the DWR that's already on the jacket, okay? So that's primarily when you need to wash the jacket. So how do you wash your jacket? Well, it might seem obvious, you just chuck it in the washing machine. But first, the first thing one should do is to check the care label. And I would hazard a guess that the vast majority of outdoor kit can be just chucked in the washing machine. There's very little that can't be, but always, always check the care label and follow the manufacturer's instructions. You will always find the care label in the jacket, it will be sewn, in, sewn into the side seam uh, and it will give you full instructions on what that garment what that garment can be washed like? That was an awful sentence. That will give you, it'll tell you what to do. There you go. It'll tell you, tell you how, what temperature, whether it can be dry cleaned, whether it be tumble dried, etc., etc. So using a washing machine is by far the best and the easiest way to wash your outdoor clothing and equipment. Right, so we've checked our care labels. We've all been good little boys and girls and we've checked our care labels and we've found out that this particular jacket is fine put in the washing machine to be washed at a cool temperature and it can be tumble dried. We'll go on to tumble drying in a bit. Let's do, let's do the washing bit first. So check your care label. Next thing to do is to check your washing machine. Uh, what you need to do is go and get rid of as much of the residue of your normal household detergents and fabric softeners that uh, you know kind of build up in the detergent drawer and in the drum uh, because they're no good for the DWRs either. They, they will negatively impact the performance of any DWR and they'll remain within the fabric of the jacket and reduce the DWR's performance going forward as well. So you just need to pull that drawer out of the washing machine, give it a good clean. Uh, ideally, if you want to do this really properly, is to uh, put the washing machine on a hot cycle and just let it run empty so it gets a really good rinse through. Some washing machines have a maintenance cycle you can use which which pumps a load of hot water through the machine, gives them a really good clean. So that's a good idea to do before you put your jacket in the washing machine. Okay, next thing to do then is to make sure your jacket is prepared for the washing machine. So do up all the zips, uh, loosen the uh, hood draw cords, the waist draw cords, the hem draw cords, make sure it's all nice and loose. Uh, do the uh, Velcro on the cuffs so they're not tight, so you've not got you know, fabric all creased up around the wrist. So open that right up, check the pockets, make sure there's no 20 pound notes in there, which you don't want to go through. Actually, it doesn't matter now because they're plastic, aren't they? So you could leave a 20 pound note in the, in the pocket, that'd be fine. Not an idea, not brilliant, but you could do. Uh, but yeah, just check the pockets, make sure there's nothing rattling around in there. Zip the pockets up, do the zip up, loosen the toggles, loosen the vel Velcro. So your jacket is now ready to go in the washing machine. So what do you wash it with? Well rather handily we have these two the two main protagonists in the uh, outdoor equipment washing field we have the Nikwax and we have the Grangers it's up to you which you use uh, they are both perfectly safe to use with outdoor jackets clothing equipment etc so follow the instructions on these you uh, generally speaking you will put uh, a dose of the washing stuff so this is the washing stuff, and generally speaking, it's got a green lid. Uh, and you'll put that in the drum with the uh, jacket, in this case, or in the dispenser drawer. It's entirely up to you, but personally, I would put it in the drum, straight in there, with the jacket. Put it on a delicate wash cycle, 30 to 40 degrees, again, depending on the care label. And set it off on a wash cycle. And boom, that's it. That's how to wash your jacket. It's dead easy. As long as you use the right stuff, following the care label instructions, and you've prepared your machine and your jacket properly. So now we have a lovely, clean, beautifully smelling, glistening outdoor piece of clothing or equipment. I'm just going to say jacket because we're talking about I've got a jacket on. I can't say outdoor clothing all the time. We know what we're talking about here. We're talking about jackets. So you've got a lovely, clean jacket. Now, if you were just giving it a bit of a refresh and the a DWR, um, originally was, was still performing okay, you could skip with the uh, restoration of the DWR products and go straight 
to applying some heat to the jacket. That heat will rejuvenate, it'll uh, help to restore the original DWR and bring the jacket back to its full performance. So I say, if it's not been if it's, if it's just been a bit grubby and you've not been wearing it much and you just want to give it a bit of a refresh, wash and then apply some heat afterwards. Now, if, you, if the care label allows, tumble drying is your best option. So, I mean, don't whack it up to like really hot, be sensible. Just use a, a, a medium uh, temperature on your tumble dryer and check it every 10 minutes or so. Just make sure that the jacket's not getting too hot, but that heat will help to restore the original DWR. You could, if you, if you haven't got a tumble dryer or you just don't fancy sticking your jacket into a tumble dryer for whatever reason, there are alternatives you can use. You can use a hair dryer, that will work. Uh, or you could even use an iron on a cool setting, place a, 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 like a tea towel over the jacket first. Don't apply the iron directly to the jacket because you might end up not making it waterproof by melting a dirty great big hole in it. So always just check the temperature of your iron before you apply it and just pop a tea towel over the top, clean tea towel over the top, and give it a little iron. And that will rejuvenate the DWR, so you'll end up with a lovely, clean, water beading, lovely jubbly jacket. Now, if your jacket has been had a bit of a thrush in, it's filthy dirty, it's just soaking up water like a sponge, then you will need to restore that DWR using either a wash-in, so this is the purple one from Nickwax, the TX Direct, or you could use a spray-in, uh, the Performance Plus here from Granger's. This one you spray directly onto the jacket after it's come out of the washing machine whilst it's still damp. Spray, 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 spray. Uh, we've just been having a conversation, Ben and I, about which we prefer. Ben likes the spray because he thinks he can apply uber amounts of DWR all over the jacket. And it also means you can focus on the areas which get most affected. So the shoulders from rubbing with uh, rucksack straps, the hood, the back, etc. You can give it an extra spray all over. Personally, I like a wash-in. Maybe I'm a bit lazy. Maybe my, my trigger finger gets a bit sore and spraying too much, but I prefer a wash-in. So for the wash-in, you would literally just repeat the cycle that you use to wash the jacket, but you'd bung some of the wash-in restorer into the drum rather than the cleaner and just run the cycle again get your jacket out and pop it in the tumble dryer or the iron or the hair dryer. Same applies for the spray on. Once you've washed your jacket, spray it on and then apply the heat. So then you will end up with a lovely, clean, fragrant, DWRE, is that a word? It is now. A DWRE jacket, just like new. Lovely jubbly. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just summarize. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of information in this video. Uh, I, I appreciate it's a lot to take in, uh, but it is worth understanding this, uh, this whole subject. So these new uh, PFAS free DWRs just do not repel dirt, oil, moisture, rain, etc. like they used to. So they're going to need much more TLC. So washing regularly and restoring that DWR is really, really important to get the maximum performance of your jacket. Uh, so make sure you're using the right stuff, make sure you're looking at the care label properly, make sure you're preparing your jacket before you wash it, make sure you're preparing your washing machine. I know all this sounds like a right faff and all you want to do is get out there, enjoy the outdoors and be comfortable and protected in your kit. But believe me, it is well worth going through this to keep your garments performing as they should. You know, these, these uh, DWRs are only going to get better as uh, the uh, manufacturers and the brands develop better ways to improve the DWR. But for now, this is what we've got. This is, this is what we have to deal with. So please, please look after your jackets properly, make sure they're washed properly and keep restoring that DWR and keep going out, keep going out and enjoying the outdoors.